the fire and boy oh boy do we have an emergency today and how this quantitative tightening is destroying the world i mean it is making the bond market look like some random penny stock or even bitcoin looks even more stable than the bond market. This is where people should find security, but they are not. And I would love to, co oh, did I mention Bitcoin? You see that little chart right there? You know what that looks like? That's called a descending triangle. And that's how it plays out. So not financial advice on this channel. You're like, no, you clearly said, go long on Bitcoin. And if you know me, cause I know you do, cause you subscribed, thank you so much. I am constantly moving money or assets or the, the digits thing. I mean, even oil, I, which I will look at today because the only way for you to protect wealth is to move it. And I know it's hard and it takes work and you gotta do it, otherwise you lose it. And you're like, but I'll just give it to a financial planner. Oh, uh, sure, they'll do a really good job. And I can't tell you how many emails I've gotten from shh, financial planners and people in banks and people who trade and they say, thank you for your course, you saved my life. And I say, you mean I saved your client's lives? Like, you're welcome. But all you guys have to do is just learn charts. It could be even as stupidly easy as this. Remember uh, the quantitative tightening that we had for a minute there back in the day? Yeah, that, that resulted in uh, everything breaks. <laughs> look And look where we're currently at. Oh, just it's starting to roll a little bit. And so is the entire world. When, by the way, I know it's a little off the screen, but do you want to know where that little black line that's starting to roll, what it's going to look like? It's going to do something like that, straight up. I'm telling you, if the Fed doesn't do it, Janet will, and I, I, that would be uh, the, the secretary, I will show you. And I don't think secretary should have that much power, but okay. And here, let me move it into frame so you can see it more gooder. See that 2018 lasted about one inch and then through the roof. How long is this one gonna last? I, I wouldn't hold your breath. I mean, we're already hearing stories hitting Wall Street Journal, right? The, the, the whisper guy, they're just like, I think they're gonna, stop doing what they're doing soon and the market rebounds. I mean, I, it was in such a sell-off mode. And then just someone picks up a phone. Hey, I think we need to fix this thing. Iconic Fed, an analyst calls it. Uh, Powell will be forced to end QT much sooner than expected, yes. And how about this story? The straw that breaks the market's back. The Fed must do 3.9 trillion in QT to control inflation, four trillion. They just did a few billion and everything's collapsing. I mean, what is the pristine collateral risk off place to be the bond market? What is that down? 40% unbelievable how QT broke the market as tail risks, which is hitting everyone has uh, all but disappeared. The Dow Jones is now more volatile than Bitcoin. And I say, you are correct. Well, that is until the floor drops out of Bitcoin also. Because if you understand charts like this one, you take this lot, you carry this right here. Here, I'll show you how to do it. You go from here to here. Sorry, it's very difficult on this uh, on the screen. Things that you cannot see. Oh, am I pulling it right? Pull my finger. Okay, hey, look. Look, price target. Also, this is being traded on the weekly. So you have uh, you have you have maybe a few days left. That's okay. Also, if you want to come along with my trades, take my bear market course that I'm filming videos every single day, 200 bucks. It's like in my opinion that's free, especially teaching college and going to college. I mean, a textbook was over 200. And that way when you guys see charts like this. This is oil. What do you do? Well, I want to make, I'm going to make a play on this. And I hate trading on, on YouTube because then everyone's like, how's your Tesla trade going? How's your XYZ trade going? And I'll tell you, the Tesla short, I'm killing it. And all my other shorts, I'm killing it. it just kind of how it works. And it's not by accident. I just do stupid things like this. This was, here's the whale. I'll, I'll teach you. That's a left shoulder, a head, and a right shoulder. Yes, I teach it to you in the course, how to draw it and how to measure it. That blue line down here is a price target. 
it hit price target. Also, before it did that, I said, if it goes below that, that would be confirmation of your left and right, you should get out, which most people don't, but you have an opportunity to get back in. And you're actually looking at a wedge, a falling wedge. Also, link in the description if you wanna, Lux Algo has little buy sell indicators if you're just really a super noob. Uh, but there you go. See, kind of looks like a wedge that you would put in a door. Don't get excited on that breakout because you'll probably hit your head right on that blue line right there. That's the 200 uh, daily moving average. But honestly, nothing really confirmed on oil. Not something that I'm like, oh my gosh. See, I want, oh my gosh, trades that are like perfectly spot on. But my point is, you're always having to move money. Here's the bond market. How much is the bond market down right now? Bond market from top almost 50% Oh my gosh, this is supposed to be risk off. Like, oh, I just wanna keep my portfolio the way it is. I don't want any changes. Oh, by the way, the bond market just hit exactly spot on price target of a head and shoulders pattern. So if you're thinking about paper trading this, uh, buy the dip or wait for the reversal, which you would know that by turning on the MACD. This is not the MACD, this is the RSI. I just wanted to point you to this the bond, the debt, your debt-based system that your founding fathers created has never in the history of time, going back to the dinosaur over there, been this oversold. So it's kind of like when oil was negative, uh, you should have probably dollar cost average. But my point in all of this is the Fed is breaking the system. And if you're just like, well, my job seems fine. Everything's okay here at Target. I'm not really seeing, I mean, yeah, sales are down, you know, 30%, but guys, it, it's not, it's what is in the future. And we have a savior. Her name is Janet Yellen. And I think she may create a new balance sheet. And I'll show you in just a second. The squeeze that has the U.S. Treasury thinking about buying back bonds. Well, tell us more, Lincoln. But as the article goes on to say, when traders, in the 24 trillion, oh my gosh, US treasury market have trouble trading, right? It's called a liquidity issue and we need liquidity. Liquidity metrics are flashing at crisis levels, making the debt market that's a key underpinning of global financial markets potentially so fragile that another shock could impair its functioning. So while Jerome is over there trying to get you fired and control inflation that might not even have anything to do with this, I mean, if China locks down and they say no more supply, well, guess what happens to price? I don't care how much Fed go burr. When you don't have a product and there's demand, price go up. Same thing with the dollar. No dollar, price go up. But moving on to the big fix, that's why for the first time in more than two decades, you're like, wait, they did it? Yes, they did. The treasury is consider considering buying back its bonds as a way of stabilizing the situation. And you wanna know what it'll do? It will send the bond market through the roof. Oh, and just in case you wanted the dates of when the treasury conducted the buyback operation of bonds, March 2000 and April 2002, which in 02, you had about a 20% rip to the upside. Oh, good, but I hope you sold the top. And here's a question that you might be asking, how would the treasury uh, buybacks work? Well, that's what it's trying to figure out at the moment. Here, I'll help you, Janet. Create a new balance sheet, done. I mean, you did it over there at the Fed. It's the same shenanigans. You just do it again, create another balance sheet, do the whole, you know, hocus pocus and and buy whatever you want. Just make sure you use the, the deposits of, of us to, to do it. And then at the same time, when these uh, switches get flipped, okay? And that, that's what they're gonna do, destroy it, build it back better. Hey, where have I heard that before? Then. This works perfectly with CBDC and Fed now, right? And they can start controlling interest rates around where they want to control them. Oh, you want to buy a house? Okay, we'll go ahead and change that rate to this. You you want to buy some cotton candy? Well, that's different. Wherever there's, you know, bottlenecks, we lower interest rate here, we can raise it here. Oh, CBDC just fixes everything. So make sure you get your 
your fed now card uh so they can control everything you do and cut you off that's great bond market sees no end oh i do i do it, it's gonna end it it's gonna end in fire to worst turbulence since credit crash i mean even larry summers he did their jobs he knows larry summers warns of a dreaded economic doom loop but fortunately it only lasts for about 12 months and then tack on 10 years and says american america should pay close attention to the uk's troubles and going on in the article he's talking about a decade i mean at least someone's paying attention to what's happening around the world like uk frankly terrifying oh that bad yes energy crisis which we're just starting the beginning of winter winter has arrived energy crisis could drag 26 million brits into fuel poverty and i say even though it's frankly terrifying i am going to trade it and yes it's always good for one bad for it but that's just how money i didn't again i didn't create the system i would not have created it this way my island that you are welcome to come just don't bring skylar we actually use hard money like silver oh and you guys really like that chart yesterday you're like where'd you get it i'm like i don't know i just i work all day i just grab links but uh did you see like it was like a speck of silver compared to the rest of the world the debt market the derivatives market oh my gosh it's like this entire page is the derivatives market silver would be the size of my little pointer right there which the size of my pointer is is very small but the derivatives market the everything market needs liquidity you need pristine collateral they have to you you basically they got us into this okay they should have just let it go in 07 08 we could have been fine but they didn't so now we have this whole disaster fluster cluck of a system and you gotta kind of keep doing it it's gonna break when i don't know just trust me it will be far worse than a nuke uh hitting you on the top of the head and everything will lock up you can't use your cards you can't do anything but i'll have you know bars of silver okay yeah go go to the grocery store with your bar of silver that probably won't i mean people will just be running in and grabbing everything what they want anyways will literally be the only normal person there like can I buy something? And then someone grabs your bar and, and runs out. But we have not hit that level yet. We're going to. We will. I mean, unless they go back to the horrific system that they've created. Uh, think you'll see things like this. Oh, all schools just seem to have run out of money. Exclusive. 90% of schools in England will run out of money next year. Okay, that's great. But hey, that's what happens when you create a system like this and decide to kick the can. Well, the can can't be kicked anymore. But I think we got maybe one more kick. <laughs> maybe. Just make sure. I've, I've been saying this over and over. Make sure you have, you know, place out of the city. Some nice land. Maybe, a, maybe you know, you grow your stuff. You have water that maybe fish are in it. And you can actually catch fish. Be a source of protein where you can, you can feed yourself. And I'm not talking where you're like, I could just click a button on my phone. DoorDash just shows up. No, that... that that doesn't work anymore there, Brad. I mean, it could be even other things. I don't know what it's going to be. I, I'm thinking it's over here. It might be over there. I mean, even like look, China has first strike capability to me, to melt U.S. power grid. I know this is it's two years old with electromagnetic pulse weapon. Oh, and I really like that video uh, that did, did do. They said uh, he, he, he tr Trump had like a four percent over Biden. I guess he lost that one. But let me rewind it leads him by five points oh hypothetical oh okay that would be something that i try to stay away from on this channel because everyone thinks that someone is going to save their life but it's not them it's the system that has been created for hundreds of years we took this the whole keynesian oh it's 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 terrible and then when it really broke was 71 that's you you want inflation go look at that move it all the way forward. It's, it's a debt-based system. Every time they create anything, uh, you got to pay it back with interest. And who's going to pay it? You're going to have to pay it by you working. I know. Great. It means you have to have five jobs. But thank you. Like the video, please. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for hanging out to the very end. I love you. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you tomorrow.